Welcome to the latest episode of Beaten and Bangin'. I'm your host, Kyle Dalton. I have a couple stories in today's video, including Tony Stewart offering some high praise for Haley Deegan after her impressive runner-up performance last night at Eldora, an interesting news item this week on why an Xfinity Series driver won't be racing on Saturday at the Indianapolis road course because of the Hollywood Riders' strike, and then a piece of personal news. First, let's go back to last night's SRX Series race at Eldora. Haley Deegan was among numerous drivers who had their nights get off to a terrible start. It happened early in Heat 1 when Austin Dillon blew a radiator hose, went up into the outside wall, and the pileup began, with Deegan, Chase Briscoe, Tony Kanaan, and Marco Andretti all getting caught up in the accident, and each car suffering heavy damage. In a backup car, the 22-year-old Deegan finished 7th in Heat 2 and started 8th in the 75-lap main event. She didn't stay there long and by lap 15 had moved up to 5th. With 25 laps remaining, she ran in 3rd behind Tony Stewart and Ryan Newman, and that's when the Truck Series regular showed her skills on the dirt, battling on three separate restarts with Stewart and Newman each time following closely on the heels of the three-time Cup Series champion and clearing the field. She wasn't ever able to get close enough to make a pass for the lead, but she maintained her position and recorded her second runner-up finish in SRX, the first coming in her first ever race in the series at Knoxville in 2021. After the race, Stewart had high praise for the Thor Sport racing driver. Yeah, I, that's the one thing people don't realize is Haley Deegan is one hell of a dirt driver. So uh, she gets the second there. She's going to put pressure on. So uh, just had to try to get some clean laps on restarts and get in a rhythm again and get going. Deegan was understandably pleased with her performance after the race. Man, I, I don't know what, what's happened the last couple weeks or what's changed, but... I've, I've been lacking a little confidence the last couple months, and I feel like this last, I don't know, two or three races, like, it's starting to come back, and I'm starting to get those finishes, starting to have more speed, and it's just all coming together. I've been working really, really hard uh, the last couple of weeks, and it's paying off. While Deegan's racing appears to be trending in the right direction, the same cannot be said for Catherine Legg. The veteran driver, who is an IMSA regular this year and has raced IndyCar in the past, including three Indianapolis 500s, was scheduled to make her second of four Xfinity Series starts this season with SS Greenlight Racing on the Indianapolis road course on Saturday. However, her agent announced this week that the 43-year-old wouldn't be racing at Indy because, of all things, the writers strike in Hollywood. How are the two connected? Sponsorship. Here's what the agent had to say to jski.com. Due to the unforeseen and ongoing rider strike, which continues to affect our entertainment industry partners, the associated promotional plans for Catherine Legg's sponsorship to compete in the Xfinity series have been temporarily suspended. The agency was unclear on whether or not this might potentially affect Legg's remaining two races at Watkins Glen and the Charlotte Roval. And finally, a bit of personal news. Before I share it, I will be honest and tell you I debated whether or not I should even mention it at all. But as I've said multiple times before, I want this channel to be different. I want to be authentic and connect with my audience. That means sometimes sharing the painful truths of life. And that painful truth is I have not produced any videos in the last 10 days because I've been dealing with the unexpected diagnosis of terminal cancer for my mother. You're probably asking, why share such personal news? There are a couple of reasons. First, this is a process. My family has already gone through this process once before with my father more than 10 years ago. We're just starting the process with my mom. So there will likely be more times in the future where there will be gaps in the number of videos I put out. Now you'll know why. And second, and to me most importantly, why not share it? Death is a part of life. We all go through it with our parents and eventually we'll face it personally. I feel like if I share my personal experience of the natural pain and uncertainty we are facing as a family 
and a single person sees this and finds it helpful in dealing with something similar now or in the future, then it's all worth it. Lastly, I'll say this. My mom is 83. She's been a blessing to me and my family forever. I'm so grateful for all the many memories we've made my entire life. Tonight, I'll give her a big hug and tell her I love her. While this disease might be cruel, it does allow me the chance to do that and share with her how I feel. I'd encourage you to do the same with someone you love or care about as well. Thanks as always for watching this video and have a great rest of your day.